Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big. Check, check, check it, it's a unique hustle. It's your boy, ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Nothing, nothing, you know my day all gone. I want y'all to stop what you're doing right now. Go like, subscribe, follow us on all social media platforms. We mean all, I mean all, I mean on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, you name it. We're on it. Just Google us, Boss Talk Podcast 101. We pop up first in line, I guarantee you. But y'all always see us on the street and talk about, man, I love what y'all doing. Keep up the good work. How can we support your brand? This is how you can support our brand. Under each and every video, including this one right here in the description section below, there is a link. And this is on YouTube. There's a link that says, join our membership. Click that link, follow all the instructions because that's where we hide in all the exclusive content that's only for members, all right? So thank me later. Y'all gonna love it. Man, man, we got some guests in here today, y'all. Mm -hmm. These boys, they got their game face on mm -hmm. too. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie, these niggas don't even look like they been on the stage today the way they acting, man. <laughs> Nigga ain't smiling or nothing, man. We got my boy Charlie Jr. and Eddie Green. Y'all both out of Florida? Yes, Florida sir, boys. yes, sir. Them Florida boys, Duval man. Duval County, Jacksonville, Florida. We up top with it, though. Palm Beach County. Yeah, man, yeah, you know what? Down, what Palm Beach. I, okay, we had double A. We had who else? We didn't win that. We had that. Uh, what's double that one? Double A from where I'm from. Yeah, yeah. double A. Who else yeah. we had? From down there. We had a bunch of them. To be honest yeah, with you, I we just went down there. What's that guy named uh, Dixon? Marvin Dixon. Marvin, Marvin Dixon. Dixon. Mm -hmm. uh, man, we done had man. We and we love the comedy world for sure. Yeah, but we yeah, do the yeah. music too. You know, Blood Raw from down there Blood somewhere. Raw. Yeah, hey, he been yeah, on here. Yeah. Uh, I, I just like I said, I like rocking out with Florida, man. For real, to be honest with you, I have. We did the Miami. I want to come to your town though. Mm -hmm. See, I want. We was in the, at the hotel with Roy Palm Jones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to be mm -hmm. Palm Beach. I'm a, sure, Palm, Palm Beach is where you're, you. You Palm friend. Beach and you. Jacksonville, Florida. That's two different ways. Dude, I'm far away from there. I'm all the way up. I'm down there, Georgia. Damn. Yeah, I'm you down there, Georgia. Yeah. Six out, five hours? About six five. Hours. About five. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I live down in Miami now, so I'm down there. Oh, you yeah. by, you on the yeah. South Beach? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah that boy, yeah, that yeah. got a little money. Anytime they go to I, South Beach, I you do, know what time it is. I do retire, you know what I'm <laughs> saying? I ain't, I ain't got <laughs> much. I'm still waiting on my benefits to start to kick in, you but know, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. trying to get disability, too. I already know oh, what you're trying to do. I'm already on it. You 100%? You going to be 100%? 100% PNC. I just checked the mail the other day. That thing came through. I'm waiting on the first check, right? What you talking about? So I was saying, hey, Man, man, them OGs tell you from the jump, hey man, you better take your head to that doctor yeah. take that and tell them your dick don't work. That's, <laughs> that's 10% right now. Say what? Man, that's good stuff, buddy. Military people are the only people fighting to be labeled disabled because we're trying, we're trying to get paid for that, real. And you should. You guys are yeah. man, giving yeah. a contribution that really 20 you, years. Can't, you can't scale the contribution that these right. niggas give. 20 giving. years. Even if you ain't do 20 years, you done done something. Yeah. You done done something, man. Get your money. I man, see one that last show we had talking to the chick outside driving big. Big body being truck. Fine. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I see. I said, why you part in the handicap with a handicap sticker? Man. I'm disabled. I said, bitch, you ain't disabled. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I just retired. Damn. I said, oh, well, the forces. I said, oh. Yeah. That's what Charlie talking about. Exactly. Man. They know. Normal. Look yeah. real good. Yeah. Man, yeah. So he, he did 27 man, years in that think thing. think about it. Yeah. When you disabled, people looking for a disability that they can see. A lot of the military people are disabled mentally. Hey, I'm going I'm to tell you straight up. So, mental health is everything. Yes. A lot of us jacked up mentally and exactly. we don't even know it. So exactly. me, I'm just going in there, they're like, make sure you do the mental part of it. I said, okay, cool, I'm going to do it. Ladies start asking me questions and this, this, that, and the other. Have you ever dealt with this? You ever dealt with this? I said, yeah. I done went and had to recover a body from a crash. And I see a goddamn coyote running off with his leg. Wow. Real life shit. You know what I'm saying? I done seen somebody jump off the ship to commit suicide. I ain't know I mess with me mentally. She was like, well, when this happens, does this trigger anything? I said, yeah. You didn't even it, know. It sure do. What triggered, what happened, what triggered it? It just... So some. I want to get deeper in that because this skin. We even do all that now. You know, she was a psychologist now. You know what I'm saying? You can't get him back out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do all that. We even do all that now. Whole studio messed up. But I'm trading this nigga back. It's just like when you really because when it actually when you actually saw it happen, you didn't think that it triggered. You didn't think that it. You didn't. I was legit back then. You know what I'm saying? I was legit. You know what I'm saying? I'm standing watch. You know what I'm saying? Standing watch. You know what I'm saying? We um y'all call them dorms. We call them barracks or whatever. Right. And um, I'm standing watch by this door, and they knocking on this dude door or whatever. They say he ain't answered in back, you know what I'm saying, two, three days. They say, Adams, go in there and check what's going on. They give me the little key or whatever, I go in there and check. Dude laying in there stiff as hell, pills everywhere. He got and out of here. Done. Dead. Dead mm -hmm. as hell. Stiff. Why, why see his foot sticking up out of the cover? 
And this isn't just my little school. Um, I was in on. Uh, I was in Eckerd School. I was a rescue school. Yeah, this just I ain't even jumping in, in the even navy. Used yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm still going through school. I'm seeing that when I first jump in. And that didn't let you like, okay, I'm out. I can't do this. No, I needed that money because I ain't joined to like 21, 22 years old, and I hadn't been in the streets. I said, oh no, I'm done with this. Mm-mm, let me get out of these streets in Jacksonville before I do something stupid where I can't recover from. So I jumped my ass in the military like my mama told me mm-hmm. from day one. She said, you don't keep the grades to goddamn do no sports. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I always and hear you ain't that, smart enough to do school. Because <laughs> I always hear that, especially like the street cats, because mm-hmm. being in the street, they've seen so much, you know, especially when you come from a certain area that, yeah, you know, yeah. people die, this, that, whatever. Mm-hmm. So a lot of them, if they go to the military, it's like, man, this is normal to us because back home I'm see- seeing dead bodies anyway. I'm seeing people get shot yeah, and yeah, I'm yeah. used to this. I mean, but it's but it's a difference when, you know what I'm saying, you built from that, you know, seeing that. Not saying I was no street dude or whatever. I've been around street stuff before right. I joined the military, even when I was in, which is wild. That's, that's another story. I went straight back to Jacksonville Damn. Uh, yeah, for eight years, you know what I'm saying? They sent my head right back. But um, I think it's different when you lead a better your life and the stuff you see on TV, you know what I'm saying, them little war movies, action movies, you start seeing the shit in real life. So it kind of messes with you mm-hmm. differently. You know what I'm saying? How do you yeah. handle it? Uh, yeah. uh, no, we're not finna do that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm a millionaire. I want to talk. I want to talk to <laughs> regular <laughs> niggas. I'm not gonna be. I didn't even never want to go to the military like that. I, ain't, I appreciate what y'all doing. Yeah, I was in the military. I, I ain't going no, over I did there. ROTC. <laughs> That's the fall I went. Yeah, let's talk about it, baby. Yeah, no, like, saying. man, let's get into it. Like, how did you first get into comedy? Man, I always been funny all my life. I always did comedy, entertainment. I come from a, a dancing background. You know oh, what I'm used saying? to dance, mm-hmm. big time dance. Like, big time, like, like what? What? what tell me you is, Eddie, because I, because I still don't believe him. But I had to go song, back. You ever heard that song, Peanut Butter Jelly with the baseball bat? Yeah, that's me. That's you. Yeah, I did that back in high school. <laughs> really, you made that up? No, I didn't make it up. I but you handled that up. The dance, you know what I'm saying? So I did a lot. You of, can still do the dance. Yeah, I was thinking that. I just I used to have abs, but I lost them. So ever since I lost my abs, I just been on the. Chill. We got a nigga here named Mister Hit That, and, yeah. and Mister Hit That, I love to see because both of y'all look older now. Y'all had y'all mm-hmm. run. Yeah, I would like to put y'all <laughs> on boss talk and see if uh, that sh- Mister Hit That would take you out with that peanut butter. I was snap, Mister Hit That ain't ready. Are you serious? I'm him. He just did a dance. I'm him. He danced all the Listen, time still though. Me too. And y'all both. Mm-hmm. Now, how y'all. long ago was yours? <laughs> Mine about. Uh, last week. No, I'm talking about oh, when you when the dance first came out. Over 20 years ago. Yeah, Hills came out mm-hmm. about 10, 10, 15. About 15. Longer, yeah, yeah, about 20 years ago. So, so. I like to see y'all. No, I'm going to set that up. That's, yeah. not, that's, that's not what, what I, I do. Miss it. They call me Mr. Hit that hoe. That bad, man. Mm-hmm. No, I want to so, see. I also do, um, you know, my, my everybody see coming. I got a lot of talents. Mm-hmm. I, do, I got a lot of talents, but my gift is Ministry of Dance. So you really good at that. Yeah, so, so people don't call it praise dance. Let's I don't praise dance. Do you, have a, do you have a dance on stage when you do your Hell comedy? No. You ever Every included it? No. You I got, just got that vibe. You do it with the little set. You got yeah, I just be vibing. Yeah. I've seen okay, niggas do that little I, set. I that wasn't really dance. That wasn't really dance. Not like he want to get down. He want to go. That would be dope. I don't have people tell me that, but I just don't. Yeah, you should. I just don't. How old was you when you got on the stage for the first time for us for comedy? Comedy, I think I was... I started in church. You was in there tripping on the so old started, folks like Steve yeah, Harvey. Clean, uh, clean mm-hmm. comedy. Mm-hmm. And um, I started at about 16, 17. And I was raw at it. I was, because I was, I was already big in, in, in the dance and praise dance. So I, I had a, I owned a dance studio. I had over 200 kids. We traveled the world with Kurt. Uh, we did uh, Thai Tribute. Open up a Vicky Wine and Shirley season. So I was deep into the church. How old were you at that time when you were doing that? I was like 19, 20. Wow, young and you doing. You still I was young because I had a, I, I had a. I went through a lot of my life with losing my brothers and wow. street life, and I wasn't in the street. They was in the street, so it was like I had to find something for these kids to do. And I'm like, man, I got to reach out to these kids because a lot of kids been getting killed, and I'm dancing at all these funerals. And then when it came around, I had to dance at my brother's funeral. It clicked. Damn. Like, damn, you mm-hmm. been dancing at somebody's funeral every weekend. Now this weekend, you dancing at your brother's funeral, your mm-hmm. younger brother. And, and I said, I got to find something for these kids, man. Get these kids off the streets. But I knew they loved to the dance. Started a dance company, and it just blew up. Blew up. And, That's um, good at 19. That's you know dope. what I'm saying? So I, I did that for years. And, you know, I always was funny. I always, like, in school, don't walk past me. I, um, I'm going to ride on you. <laughs> you. You better know how to dress or you better know how to fight or crack because I'm going to crack on you all day. Yeah, that's, and, um, that's hard. Florida. So when I started doing it in church, you know, um, it was easy. I was 
killing them in church. No cursing, just clean, just funny. And uh, somebody said, man, you go to improv one night. They got an open mic night. So I go to improv. They say, oh, you got to have 10 people and you get mm. five minutes on stage. I said, yep. 10? Give me 150 tickets. They gave me 150 tickets. I brought 150 people. Smashed it. Did it again the next month. I said, give me 150 tickets. Bought 150 tickets. I said, you know what? These jokers making money off me. Mm-hmm. I'm finna start my own show. Putting the asses in So I started, I started my own show. It was called uh, Bring It to the Stage. Selling out, selling out, selling out. Then I said, you know what? I need to really start getting into this comedy thing. I just kept doing it, kept doing it. Then I changed it from Bring It to the Stage to Laugh Y'all. So now my, my show is called Laugh Y'all. I do it once a month in uh, Palm Beach. Do like 300 people. I don't sold like 42 shows. Wow. Booking mm-hmm. comics from all around the world. Um, so one day I'm I'm at this at this club where I, I uh, do the shows at and I'm asking I say man how much y'all make off the bar because y'all pay me pretty good I get 100 percent of the dough y'all pay me pretty pretty good off the bar they show me what they, they make off the bar I said I'm done with y'all lads I'm finna go buy me a building we mm-hmm. a real talk now I got a building I'm opening my own comedy club and restaurant now come on that's man. the next step I'm in that's hard so this comedy thing just always been just a gift for me that's that's another gift where. God got me in different seasons of my life. One season I was in the ministry of dance. Now I'm in a, in the season of the ministry of laughter. Cause the world need laughter. Cause the world is hurting. Mm. And I feel like every time I get on stage, that's my therapy too. Cause I got a lot of crap I done went through. So when I'm on stage, I'm giving therapy to myself. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And it made me feel good to see other people smile and mean people like Charlie, mean people like Bubba Doug. People don't even know Bubba Doug. <laughs> me and Bubba Doug go back from I was the at Bubba, I did Bubba the first show he ever did. You the first Where was that? Boy. Where was that? Lufkin, Texas. Mm. How I'm you a, doing the show in Lufkin? I'm gonna tell you how that. I'm gonna tell you how God work. I'm watching Bubba Dub. This is when he used to do the snitch and stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm watching, years. I'm watching mm-hmm. on, on, on there. So I, I go on this live one day and he like, oh shit, Eddie Green. I'm like, how this nigga know me? Mm-hmm. Cause I used to do this thing called Hood News on Facebook. Funny shit. Mm-hmm. Just talk about shit that goes in the neighborhood. And he like, man, I be watching on Hood News. He's like, hey man. I, Give me, send me your number. I want to, I want to get in the comedy. So I, mean, I sent him my number. And he's like, um, hey, um, I want to do a comedy show, but I don't know how to put it together. I said, look, find the comedians, find your center. I said, I come down there, you know, I will do the comedy show. What you gonna charge me? I said, I'm gonna charge you shit. Wow. He said, you ain't gonna charge me nothing. I said, just give me a room. He said, okay. I get there. He get me the the most bullshit ass room ever. <laughs> I get to the room. This motherfucking room got bed bugs, all kind of shit. <laughs> I call, I say, hey, man, I'm not standing in this shit. This shit already looked like a hundred house. It was like an old Motel 6. <laughs> this bit was the worst room ever. He was like, oh, I'm sorry, bro. I'll get you another room. I get the other room. He's like, please don't say nothing. I said, I ain't going to say nothing at the show. First thing I get, the show, the first thing I say, this motherfucker don't put me in this bullshit in that room. You feel me? So after the show, show did good. He had some janky promoter on it. He ran out with the money. Wow. So after the show, he don't like when I tell the story. <laughs> I go outside, Doug, I left tears in his eyes. I said, what the fuck you crying for? You just had a major show. Man, that nigga ran out with money, man. I really wanted to pay you. I said, bro, I didn't come to make no money off you. Mm. I said, I told you, I'm, I'm, I'm here to help you. I said, you going places in life. Wow. I said, it's going to come a time where you're going to be able to pay me whatever you want to pay me. Wow. You're going to be big. Just keep doing what you're doing. I promise you're going to be big. Fast forward. And then it blew up. Blew up. <laughs> what was it What was it about his comedy or about him that you saw why you had that feeling? He was just a natural nigga. He was just, hon- and he was hungry for it. I could see it. he was hungry for mm-hmm. success, but he was natural with it. And he just a good dude trying to find his way. And sometimes when people trying to find their way, niggas that have the right thing to give them and the right tools to give them, and they'll just sit there and watch you fail when you can just help them. Wow. And I said, shit, I just want to help, bro, because he going to help me in the long run. That's real. And still to this day, I don't charge him. No. I book my flight, my room, I get my rental car. Boy. And when I get on the plane, that cash, I say, bring, bring. I say, <laughs> look at God. He going to make sure he take care yeah, of you. Yeah, he take care of me. He a good dude. Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't ask That's for hard, nothing. Man. And I don't call Doug. I don't call him for nothing. I just be like, yeah, I'm going to be on this show. I'm going to be on that show. Whatever show you want to be on, you on, bro. I don't call on asking for nothing because I know what it takes to run this business. It's a business yeah. at the end mm-hmm. of the day. And Doug got a, when I tell you he got a fire ass team, the BDE, the BDE boys, everybody funny in their own way. Yeah. Everybody got their own style of comedy. He let us do us and he let us run the show. He don't tell us how to set the show up. Now, he who, just bring who, his ass to the show, sit in the back. We run the show. Is, who all is? You, JB, 
Uh, Charlie, Charlie and, uh, and, and, and Mayo Malaluchi. Wow, wow, mm -hmm. that's hard, man. And, and we just go out there, we do our thing. Sometimes we go places, they let other people on the show. We be mad because they be fucking about a little routine, <laughs> but we won't say nothing because they just who dub or dub like to give everybody the opportunity. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? But we'll Why are you laughing, Charlie? Dude, what's wrong? Like, you be up there upset? Like, no, no, man. Man. Charlie, no, you be upset? No, man, because you know me, I'm like, I'm like Ed, well, I ain't know who Eddie was first. I'm mad at Eddie when I first. I, when man, first met me, when like, I first met Ed, I ain't know who Ed was. So JB, you know what I'm saying? I, I knew JB. I knew why I held up on uh, the promoter, yeah, manager. Yeah, yeah. I ain't know who Ed was. So little did I know, Ed was that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like he the first BDE boy. I hadn't met Ed yet. Mind you, I'm cooking with Doug for a couple of shows. Finally meet Eddie in Miami. You know what I'm saying? So, all right. <laughs> I'm from Florida, okay. I'm from Duval County. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that kill he up there killing it. So I'm like, JB, who is this nigga? <laughs> <laughs> oh, who it called? He's like, oh that Eddie. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. All right. Nigga funny now. I, I never take a nigga funny away or whatever. But I ain't like Eddie. Let me ask you, I gotta go back, man. We yeah, gotta go yeah, back yeah, to yeah, yours. Yeah. Like, yeah, when yeah. did you first get oh. on the stage, man? So I'm gonna be honest with you. I was that nigga that was funny around people I know. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I never thought I'd be on the level I'm, in, I'm at now. So fast forward to me being in the military about probably about four or five years. So doing my military thing and um, when you out down that water, no offense to anybody, but it's like being in jail. You out down that water. Yeah. You on that ship. You know what I'm saying? About 5,000 people on there and that's all you got. So what we do, we have events. You know what I'm saying? They might set up the hangar bay. They put a fake court down, put the basketball goals up. We playing on the shit they call non-skid. Wow. It's like playing on concrete. But you hit that non-skid, your ass done. Wow. So you know what I'm saying? So we have basketball tournaments. We have all type of stuff, man. They got space tournament going down. Uno, you know what I'm saying? They set up the PlayStation for us. You know what I'm saying? If you off work, you ain't grinding on that flight deck where them jets and helicopters at. You know what I'm saying? You got time to come down. So... They had a talent show one day. They say, hey, bro, um, we need somebody to host a talent show. So I'm like, all right, cool. Now, I'm not one down on the mess decks, you know what I'm saying, talking my shit, cracking jokes in the, on, the, on the burden, you know what I'm saying, where we live at. I'm like, fuck it, I do it. Mind you, ain't nowhere else to go. So in my mind, I done sold out a comedy show. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm hosting. <laughs> That's good stuff. Ain't nowhere else to go. You know what I'm saying? I sold these niggas out. They coming. Know what they coming. Like, what you going to do? You can't leave? Yeah. We in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? So I'm hosting the comedy show, but in between bringing up the talent or whatever, I'm doing my little jokes. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, what kind of cold is this shit? Fast forward. I was in um, Japan at the time. So fast forward to um, 2015. I'm getting ready to leave Japan. I said, man, let me do a little skit real quick. I ain't got shit to do. I'm checking out. I done turned over my program to whoever. I'm finna go back to the States. I did a skit real quick where motherfuckers in the military would keep you at work for no fucking reason just because they don't want to go home. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I did a skit pertaining to that. It was relatable to all branches. I put the skit on. It was maybe like a minute long. I woke up the next morning. 22,000 followers. The skit had to hit 100K. This on Facebook. Before TikTok and all that, you had to have original content. It wasn't yeah. none of that extra shit or whatever. It took off. So a lot of military people was like, hey, do another one. I'm talking about Army, Marines. They were like, do another skit. I did another one. That bitch took off. Ooh. I said, okay, Facebook. Facebook started fucking with me. So I built my following with military. So then, after that, I see an army person doing videos in uniform. Mind you, wasn't nobody doing videos and skits in uniform. Yeah. I'm the OG. I'm the OG of this shit. Yeah. So all that TikTok oh, y'all oh, see. Oh, oh yeah, I'm I the OG. I'm the OG of military content in uniform. Please go back. Go back. Do the timestamp, whatever you want. I'm the original OG of people doing content in uniform. Wow. In uniform. You started a lot. I started that shit. Now, this before TikTok, well, you can do a voiceover. I call that TikTok shit karaoke. Yeah. Because yeah. all you're doing is voicing over somebody else's shit. Okay, yeah. it may be funny. You got a little music in the background. Back in the day, you, we had to have our own. I know I sound like an OG right now. But <laughs> man, had your own material. You know what I'm saying? And I, I grew off of that, man. My following got big on Facebook. I think I'm up to like 90K now wow. on, on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? On my, on my personal page. So then, once I started seeing other branches, other people in uniform doing it, I say, fuck that man I did that little talent show shit I said I'm gonna start getting on stage so I was in Virginia at the time when I first got on stage went to an open mic you know what I'm saying starting to try to learn on material this that and the other and then I started getting good and the local comics you know what I'm saying 
the locals on Seville, and they're like, hey, man, you're pretty funny, man. You want to do a show? I say, yeah. So I was like, hey, your boy Charlie Jr., Navy comedian, I'm doing a show. Man, I did a show at some little ranky dank ass but it wasn't even a comedy club because you know when you first start you you do comedy at the YMCA yeah. you know what I'm saying when I tell you people start showing up strangers just from online wow. or whatever because Virginia is a big military city Norfolk, Virginia Beach Oceana all that is a military city they start coming up and um, put asses in seats and I got $50 I say half these people came most of these people came to see me you know what I'm saying so I start learning the game I say okay bet Charlie Jr. Let me start me a little slogan, hashtag I'm running, whatever the fuck that meant back in the day. It was just, <laughs> just something that popped out of my mouth. So yeah. I was running with that. And then um, I ended up doing my first show produced by me in San Diego. And um, I'm all the way in San Diego, California. I wasn't even living there. Posted the fly on my social media. When I tell you, it was at um, Mike Drop. It's called Mike Drop Comedy Club now. 250 seats, almost 300, packed wall to wall, bro. Wow. Wall to wall, off the strength of my name. And after that, I was like, oh, you can do this shit. You can do this shit, man. So I just kept working on my craft, man. And anytime I'm in the military city, I post some shit, man. They they pulling they, up. They, they flooded, man. I'm the OG of this guy. How did you meet Bubba shit. Dub? How did you meet? So Bubba Dub, crazy. I thought it was some spam shit. <laughs> I got a I got a message from Bubba Dub fan page. I said, here we go with some bullshit. Now my y'all was already following Dub. He was funny. That's when he was doing the trash and the snitch shit yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know him at all from a can of paint. It's like, hey, you wanna do some time? This one I'm in Virginia. He was like, hey, um, you wanna do some time on stage? I'm looking. <laughs> my mind. I got that military shit. I ain't fucking with no other celebrities, nothing. I'm getting this shit just all the strength of my military following. Like, man, I'm Charlie Jr. Man, don't play me with this little spam page shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm Charlie Jr. Goddamn. But something said, go check that message again and answer the shit. So I entertained it. I was like, yeah, where you doing it at? He was like, um, we gonna be in um Virginia Beach Funny Bone. I said, bet. Okay. Find out why hell run the goddamn. Uh, That's exactly what it is. That damn show is. Yeah, yeah. Why hell I run the hell? <laughs> Don't know how he found me. Why? Okay. Why hell is the most unorthodox, but know how to get it done <laughs> yeah. ass nigga I ever yeah, met in my life. Done, he get it done. Like he pissed me off, but he get it done. So he did some kind of schematics, analytics to find out. I, he, they do. He ain't told me to this day, but they do something to where they reach out to who big in that area or whatever. Yeah, 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 so yeah. of course, like I said. Military town, they got ships there. They got everything there. Military town. He was like, yeah, man, just pull up to the front of bone. I said, okay, cool. So it's legit. Man, we pull up to Virginia Beach front of bone. Of course, all my people come. Back then, I really don't know how Doug following was, but I know I took a picture with a picture with a lot of people after the show. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Of course, yeah. people was there to see Doug, but I know it was some Charlie Juniors in that bitch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. So after that, you know what I'm saying? Um... Joe like, hey man, I rock with your fam. This down the uh, other man, he was like, how much I owe you? Mind y'all don't no dub like that or whatever. I was like, man, shit, I drove from, um, I was in, uh, what was I? I think I was just getting to D.C. at the time. So I lived up in D.C., so I had to drive down. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was like, man, gas, entertainment fee, just give me such and such, such and such. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't much, but it was just, you know what I'm saying, for my time. You know what I'm saying? Because I still love being on stage and for somebody to reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, I was like, hell yeah. So after that, you know what I'm saying? This was my brother coming to play. He ain't no military nigga, straight hood ass nigga or whatever. So, you know what I'm saying? I still, I'm still on my Charlie Jr. shit. I'm still the me or whatever. He was like, hey man, that Bubba Dub nigga big, man. I said, yeah, but you know what I'm saying? I don't want to sweat no nigga, man. I think he just wanted, you know what I'm saying, me to fuck with him because he was in the area. He was like, man, nigga ain't gonna fuck with you if he don't want to fuck with you, bro. I'm just telling you, man, that nigga up there. I said, man, I ain't finna hit that nigga up, get on no more show, man. I'm straight up. He don't reach out to me. So, he go, my lame man. Hey, Doug. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> you know, if you need me to do some time, you know what I'm saying? I'm doing, mind you, I'm, I'm a humble dude, but I still don't like aggravating yeah, yeah, You know what sure. I'm saying? Because like yeah. I say, I know Doug. I don't. I, I didn't know him. He'll like, he'll like, pull up, fam. I got a show in Richmond. So we go to Richmond, Virginia. Same thing. We sell that bitch out. Wow. So this one, Doug, really start fucking with me. And I'm, um, I'm done after that. <laughs> San Diego. I do San Diego again. Five shows. Five, six shows or whatever. This was at um, Laugh Factory. Dub was like, why here again? Hey, man, you got a big problem in San Diego. Mind you, everything in San Diego, ships, jets, all that shit. Big military time. I say, oh, I'm there. The show almost got canceled. Wow. They actually canceled the show the first night or whatever. They're like, hey, hey man, there's something going on with the agency. This, that, and the other, yada, yada, yada. So 
I said, hey, bro, don't cancel that show, bro. I got a lot of people coming. I said, tell them I'll do it. I was trying my name. You can still headline and all that shit. Just tell them I'll do it, bro. We're going to pack it out. I, I, I said, I swear to God, we're going to pack it out. They had on the website canceled. Now, you know that can fuck shit yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. People yeah. looking, people, I'm phone blown up. Hey, man, the show canceled. I said, cancel, cancel, cancel. So I call up. I say, hey, man, I'm Charlie Jr. I'm on the show with Bubba Dub. I'm big in the military. Please do not cancel this show. Please don't cancel it. Like, just put it up on the money. I don't know what they got going on with the Asian shit. I say, you can give Dub the money and all that shit or whatever, but don't cancel the show. You know what I'm saying? Five shows the whole weekend. Don't, yeah. Bitch, don't do that. Hell yeah. I need the pictures at least. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real. Like, don't do that. So she'll like, okay, long story short, they end up. Fixing it or whatever, but it fucked up the first show. So the first show, maybe like forty people came in there, but for the rest of that weekend, packed wall to wall. I'm oh, talking yeah. about a great show, man. The dog was like, man, I ain't gonna lie to you, but Charlie, I fuck with you. You fam now, man. Like them people came out when I tell you, and it's just so surreal how like, man, like I said, I started from a little own own a fucking ship. Built my own following on Facebook wow. and then meet Dub and then the actual come to him with something. Yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I wasn't, just, I wasn't just riding his coattail. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. I came with something. Man, when I say you that San Diego show every night, I took at least about 50, 60 something <laughs> pictures with people I don't even know from a can of paint. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's just the love and on that. And then ever since then, I, I was still always on some, man, I don't know if I should reach out. He was like, you fam. Like, man, he had to tell me that a lot, bro, because yes. I just feel I don't like aggravate niggas. I don't want to feel like, you know what I'm saying? You dragging me along. I want to bring something to the table you know and a lot saying, of people what? man they you know what i'm saying it's cool to be cool with somebody and be like hey man can i get on your show can i get on your show what are you doing man yeah. this man up here this, this man fly with mayweather yeah, yeah. he's doing his thing you know what i'm saying what are you doing at least to bring to the table so after that man dub had to tell me bro you found about a hundred times bro he was like hey man if you want to be on the show you on the show man he was like you bde man bubble dub entertainment i say bad call that's hard. That's that. So, so I hear the good stories, and that's all dope. Everything y'all said will fly. Mm -hmm. But what about the time when nobody laughed and they want you to get your ass off stage? Have you ever bumped? I bumped. <laughs> Let me tell you about Eddie. <laughs> first time I met Eddie. Eddie. First time. Well, it ain't the first time I bombed, but it's like after me being good and pretty decent on stage, I hadn't bombed you in a long time. Eddie. He was hosting. <laughs> oh, shit. And it wasn't even his fault. It wasn't even his <laughs> Mind you, this is my first time he had that. I don't know he BDE. I don't know he Bubba Dub team yet. Mind you, so Eddie up there hosting. I'm still like, yeah, Eddie Green. You done got your mind on what you need to have, yeah, though. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? So it's my time to go. Mind you, so normally the host go up there, do his thing, first 10, 15 minutes, how much time they going to do. You do maybe 30 seconds in between, 30 seconds to a minute in between each comic will get you something. Bring the next comic up. Mind you, I go up before Dub. Then if if he not hosting, I go up before Dub. You know what I'm saying? Then sometimes we'll swap it out. You know what I'm saying? If somebody else hosting, man, Eddie gets up there before me, and I'm 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 stand so the uh, Miami Improv. It's a door to the green room. As soon as you open the door, you walk right on stage. Yeah. So I'm like, yeah, Eddie finna do his little this little Eddie nigga finna do it. <laughs> Little Eddie nigga finna do yeah. little. He done went up there and yeah. clowned yeah. though, didn't so, he? So check this out. I'm gonna tell you. So it wasn't Eddie. He had somebody in the audience. I think this nigga set me up. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm from Duval County. Yeah. Duval and Dave, they, 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 they got be little beefing beefing. a little bit. They be beefing. You okay, know what I'm okay. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, okay, he finna do his little minute, 30 seconds. So <laughs> I'm standing up waiting to go on stage. And all I hear is him, rah, 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 rah. He going back and forth with some young uh, lady. You got to be out there. So he out there going, but he on her ass. He on her ass, this, that, and the other. He was like, um, so you keep going back and forth with me. He was like, who you came with? This is what was funny. So he was like, who you came with? She was like, I'm by myself. I'm by myself. He was like, okay, cool. You puss ass on, shut the fuck up, bitch. I was trying to see if you had some killers with you. Oh, puss ass on. Guess who the lady was? He going back and forth who with. Who was it? Rick Ross' baby mama. Oh, damn. Nigga, what was she she still, oh, she gonna go all day. Rick, he going back, no, so the crowd up here. Oh, I said, the ass Eddie was tearing her ass. The crowd up here. Mind you, I'm an R&B nigga. I'm coming out to R&B <laughs> music next. <laughs> and Miami, New York, and Atlanta probably one of the hardest places to do comedy. And Palm Beach. It, Palm, okay. Palm Beach hard, too. You want to be hard? Yeah, yeah. I say Florida, period. Yeah, Florida, Florida period. Hard, please. So Eddie got the crowd up here, and my ass coming out some Drew Hill. <laughs> <laughs> so they was like, nigga, we want the ratchet shit. We don't want to hear none of this oh, smooth they shit. Oh, they got the crowd as soon as you got out there. I'm talking about, so when I got out there, I came out to my little R&B shit or whatever. They were like, ha, 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 ha. 
<laughs> Got into my set. They're like, ha ha ha. Because them two had. You already know how um, I'm bringing oh, She go crazy. So, man, it was, I ain't bomb, but. She didn't say nothing to you. She let you make it. So. I was like, dang, who Eddie got on out here? She was like me. I was like, okay, never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Did you know who she was at the time? I, I didn't know who she yeah, was. I didn't even know time. who she was. Yeah, Eddie don't be knowing who nobody yeah, is. Like, who worse than me when I first started? Like, I don't yeah. know who the fuck that is. They're like, that Rick Rowe, baby, mama. I said, no, nah, the bitch kept talking about my son got more money than you. I said, <laughs> <laughs> bitch, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to retire in three years. Hey, so, I never told Eddie this shit, right? So, <laughs> and once again, I didn't know who he was. So, after I got off stage, Eddie go back up, though. I say, man, you need to tell that host he need to go ahead and bring up the next comment. Like his time is over with. Dude. <laughs> you don't need to go. You don't that do. long you don't do that. Bro, bro, you did at least about thirteen minutes with her, bro. I ain't know. You were clowning her ass. She didn't try to though. I didn't try to. You was you was in your, you was into she it. Interrupt the show. So she I was. Show she was. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Dub ain't gonna say nothing. No, no, he ain't. no, no like, you did go back there and tell him like you didn't get this nigga all in control. I'm like, hey man, how much time do he do in between comments? And like, mind you, like I said, we always grown, we always learning, you know what I'm saying? You have your nights, but I have more good nights than bad, bad nights. You that, know what I'm saying? That hurt so, you though, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, of course it fucked with you, man. It fucked with you heavy. When it you walked out, you, you felt like I let them down. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, it's like you get it was your a long miles. walk back to that one door. That, that little man. <laughs> that one door. It was a long, you like, damn. Because like, your mind be like. Did they boo you the whole time? Oh, no, I didn't get booed I at get all. Booed, like well, I get booed. Like I said, it just wasn't here. You can tell. You can tell it wasn't here. always up here. Yeah. So when your laughs are here, you know like, yeah, 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 man. Like I said, I'm I'm not great at this shit, but I'm really good. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I'm not great yet, yeah. but I'm really good. You know what I'm saying? So when you bombed, it wasn't really like a bomb. Like nobody, it was just see. like it was crickets. Yeah, because it it, it was crickets, but like it was some people that was like. He a hype though. It, like I was getting them laughs. Yeah. They were like, he a hype, but it's just the Tia and Eddie shit is what one was up, well, up there. Yeah, and it was like the way I was like, man, I wish I could change my music right now. I wouldn't even go out to this slow <laughs> shit. But it was too late. It you was know, too fucking late. I, that one thing I, I I I love about Doug and I respect. He respect who I am. He know who I am. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cause when when Crenshaw came on, I ain't know who Crenshaw was. I knew who Crenshaw. I am. It's the, another, um, another, another, the, uh, another manager, another road, manager, road okay. assistant, road manager. Yeah. Crenshaw told me himself. Doug told me whatever you want, that's what we doing. Mm -hmm. We follow you. I said, bitch, I'm just here to do. He said, uh, -uh. Doug told me, make I don't give a fuck what y'all do. Make sure y'all take care of him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Make sure he right. So he, he just respect my expertise. No, it's understandable you know though for where y'all come from too. Yeah. It's a difference. Yeah. It's and a difference. Love. But that's funny that yeah. Charlie said that because I never knew it. Because I always liked it, Charlie. I, I know. Okay, I've been in the room. I've been in the room, right? I've been in the room. Right? Yeah. Been yeah. In the room. Like, I fuck with Eddie Heavy though, for real. No, but. I've been in the room and I could tell the energy of the people, even when you were there, and oh, no, JB. no, no, we good. Now. No, yeah, I'm yeah. talking about. No, I'm talking okay. about. I don't think he was there that week, but okay. I could tell. Like when things, I think JB wanted to go on, and he didn't get to go up. Oh, yeah, he was like, that was in, uh, all this yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, telling you, I was yeah. like, damn, JB ain't liking this because yeah, he had already yeah, yeah. came on the show, so he finna drop his new jokes. He wanted us to hear. Yeah. So they were, were like, damn, I knew it. You could know. Because they added more people to the That's show. That's right. And they, and, but he That's not how we be. He stayed. He stayed down though. You know, he got day one too. Listen, they even told me. So petty. So. Eddie said he ain't never know that because I ain't never really tell him because you know, like always have differences. Don't try to act but, like yeah, it's a part of life. No, it's it a wasn't his fault though. No, it I'm wasn't his fault at all. Oh yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That's yeah, a yeah, part so, of it. So in my mind, I know I'm good now. So we go to Arlington. That was Arlington. That's next show me and Eddie did together. Eddie going behind me. Eddie not hosting. So you Eddie, was in Arlington when I'm talking about. Yeah, I came there and yeah, I yeah, seen you there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I did all the shows in Arlington. I'm just put that out there. Okay. But <laughs> me too. But. <laughs> I was told I was not, but then Doug snapped. Yeah, 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 yeah. Me too, me too. So <laughs> I went up there. I said, oh, Eddie Hill. All I'm thinking, Miami. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, Miami. <laughs> they, they, they were like, yeah, so it's going to be such and such, such and such, you, Eddie, and then Doug. I said, oh, Eddie get to go before Doug tonight. <laughs> Mind you, I still don't know Eddie. <laughs> It's all the way. Been there longer than me and everything. My my I'm petty. Man, I went up there, strolled my whole ass. I lit that bitch up. Mind you, I'm cool with Eddie, but Eddie just don't know I felt some type of way in Miami. <laughs> but Eddie was just Eddie doing his job. Eddie, Eddie don't even know. Eddie don't even know. <laughs> man, I get off that ass, Eddie was like, you just gonna go up there and kill it like that? And I gotta go behind you, nigga? What the fuck? Oh, damn. You know what I mean? Man, yeah, 
Yeah, man. I say, <laughs> so when everybody go up, I was like, remember Miami, nigga? You <laughs> said, <laughs> I said, watch me work. <laughs> yeah. Went on there and killed it. My boy went I on there and killed it, man. man. He went on there so and killed I, it. I, I like it when we got a host, because sometimes yeah, I yeah. go I go before Doug or he'll go before Doug, but who, we go right behind him. Who was the host that night? I don't know. I done forgot who the host was. Baby, 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 all around here, yeah, but it was yeah, like, yeah, damn, yeah, man, yeah. I'm going to see this nigga. You better be funny. I was on his head, yeah, you know? yeah, because I want to make sure. Because this is my boy, Bubba Dub, my people, you yeah, know, he yeah, Texas. Yeah, it was yeah, like that. But yeah. you guys are doing a hell of a job, man. Like, when, when it comes down to the comedians, your top three comedians of all times, who would that be, mm. um, Eddie? Eddie Green, comedian Eddie Green. Book, <laughs> you can't do that. Green. No, <laughs> give me the OGs or some Red Fox, nigga. No, nah, I'll say Red Fox. I'm gonna say Eddie Murphy, Martin Lawrence. Martin Lawrence. Martin I love, Lawrence. I, I love the old Martin Lawrence. Yeah, I had the guys tell me Martin, Martin don't even of, like do mm -hmm. jokes. They like he tell his life story. Yeah. And, but it's funny. Yeah, it's funny as hell. It's all kind of ways to do jokes. I just went and seen Ali Sadiq last night. Mm. Yeah, that one man, of my that nigga, that, that, I was that with him. I interviewed him last week. And, yeah. and me and me and this dude, we we kick it because we going through a lot of the same stuff. But yeah, man, yeah. last night he killed it. But the, his style, like coming off of y'all show, I was just with y'all before mm -hmm. that. It's like damn, two different ways that people. But it's so dope that it's, it's so different. many different ways different. you can take this thing. You that's know what, what I like. Saying? That's one thing I like about uh, Bubba Dub and the BDE boy. Everybody got their own style. Yeah, yeah. See mm -hmm. when they cut our shows, mm -hmm. sometimes you go to. And I'm gonna put it out here. All comments know this shit. You go to a show and the headliner have a shitty ass opener. He have a whole shitty ass opener and an okay feature, so he can look like the man. Bitch, I show everybody fire. That's when you, when you buy it. your ticket, you gonna be like, bitch, this motherfucker hoe is funny. Everybody in. got on this bitch was funny, and then yeah. we still got dub, and he motherfucking funny. You feel like you got your money worth. A lot of people think, mm -hmm. oh, I gotta put garbage up before me. No, nah, bitch, mm -hmm. we want all. Oh, we want this. We want a bitch to say, I went to this show, and it was a great ass show. They ain't got to name one person. I talk somebody about somebody say that. I talk. That's, I, that's dope. Yeah. I talk about Bub Bub Dub to all the OGs. I be like, man, that nigga ain't. You know, cause it's a difference between the internet. Comedians yes. and, uh, so, and 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 OG. So I told them niggas. I said, y'all. I don't know about. It. I'm telling you, Dub is not the one to be doing that with because he do. He definitely hey, got so, it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, so thing is, I, I told Dub this shit too, man. Um, I say a few months ago, Dub did like an hour and some change. An hour and some change, straight fire. Like all his shit was hitting. His shit always hitting, but when when you do like an hour and some change and a hit, hit. Nah. A lot of people look at us, and I will say us, because I started on social media too. They look at us social media comics as, yeah, they social media, they're not going to be funny in real life. That's what made me work so hard to be good on stage, because that's that's another story. Man, I, man, I got so many stories, which is kind of, I got more comedy stories than I got military stories, which is crazy. But um, I told Dub, I say, bro, you did an hour and some change, bro, about the hour 15, straight five, bro. I say, comic to comic, comedian to comedian, I got to let you know, bro, that's fucking great. Yeah, I tell about that's that's fucking great, bro. I said, boy, you a goat. That's great. And like he really ain't been doing stand up that long. Right, right. He amazing. But he hard. Yeah, he, he ain't been doing stand up that long. That's why I told man. you I go to all the shows. I deal with a lot of these dudes, bro. And I'm telling you, I done told him that nigga's not nobody to play with Don't like that. Know. He really Don't. got it. Yeah, like, for real. And I think everybody that's really get to see him, they see him in that element, then they respect mm -hmm. it. Yeah. And, see and that's thing. what you see when you see all them OGs come and holler at him. And they that's see his it. respect. That, yeah. And like that's his respect. Like I know for a fact. I'm, I'm like uh, on one of my best nights. It's hard to go behind me, man. It's hard. I'm not gonna lie to you. I've I've I went in front of some some great people, and they was like, "Hey, man, you ain't coming back to my show." I say, "What the fuck I do?" A lot of people like, do that. I don't need I don't that in front of me. Yeah. yeah, he say, "I, I do it all the time." He say, oh, "I don't I don't need that in front of me." But I got my BDE team and I got my DD Tour 14 team. My own, all my goddamn best friend, homie KG. He say, "Hey, man." Do your thing, nigga. You don't water your shit down for nobody. What's meant for you is meant for you. That's right. You know what I'm saying? What's meant for you is meant for you. Just because this person closed this door, I guarantee you that 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 door ain't for your house. Cause no, right. because these doors lead to houses. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's just not your house. It's gonna be another door open up. My boy say, don't you never water your shit down yeah, for nobody. Yeah, the same man. thing for you. Like when you go through there and 
and and she, you have to go up before somebody. I, I, I done had Black Rob. I done had all these cats come and say, man, they told me I, not to do that joke because mm-hmm. I don't do too many. I don't give a damn. <laughs> I tell them straight up, you don't book me no more, bitch. I book myself. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And they know. That nigga do book himself. And I got my own show. The military ain't going nowhere in the military. Mess with your boy, Charlie. Oh, I ain't got but like um, San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> big military time. Virginia. Tampa, you know, Tampa. Tampa. You know, I ain't did something. You ain't did Tampa. It's a big. Tampa, yeah. That's why my yeah, cousin yeah, yeah, lived. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, did 27 yeah. years. They keep telling me to come too. Because every time I post on my page, they be like, Tampa, Tampa. I you say, gotta y'all, go. Tampa, y'all better mess with me when I come down. No, I'm telling you. Y'all Tampa's military. Yeah. I ain't even been down there, but my cousin down there, he did 27 Seven years mm. in, in, in the he Navy. Brought him out? Okay. No, yeah, no, yeah, but yeah. he oh, okay. he was trying to do a bar called Drunken so, Drunken something. Okay. But 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 he out now. You know he yeah, he, yeah, he retired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm telling you, they all down there. Mm. I did a, I did a show. I got booked at a show in in uh, Denver a couple of months ago. See, I got Guy Colorado. Toy, two, wow. uh, two Joe Toy, Just Knees, uh, Hamburger. That's all. It was mm. a lot of. The OGs. I get there. They gonna tell me, oh yeah, you just gonna do five. I say she ain't booked me for five minutes. She booked me for twenty minutes. Mm. Yeah, but you know what you got? I don't give a damn what I got. Who here? They better worry about who come behind me. That's all I'm gonna tell you. Mm. <laughs> Cause what? I ain't I ain't come way out here to do five minutes. This lady, I got a contract. She paid me this amount of money. You to just do stay, twenty stay minutes on business. So I'm gonna do my twenty minutes and whatever y'all gonna do after that, y'all do after that. Mm-hmm. I get up there and light that bitch up. You know what the people told me? What they tell you? We should have booked you to be the headline. Man, I, I ain't gonna lie to you. I done heard that a few times. They're like, we should have booked you. And all the other niggas, I went and sit at my little table. Man, how long you been doing comedy? They want to know. Said, I said, let me ask you a question. When you first started doing comedy and you know you were fired, then people try you like you just tried me? Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. So why do that to people? That's real. Yeah. I said, if I'm on this show with y'all, mm-hmm. these people seeing something that they knew what was good. Yeah. They ain't gonna put me on this fucking show with y'all. You can book for I a said, reason. I said, don't do that, man. Yeah. That ain't cool. I never do nobody like that. Wow. You, if a bitch on your show, if we on the same show, and they told them we, they doing, let them do it. If they bomb, they bomb. That nigga came when they went talking to me like, man, where you from? Where you? How long you been doing? Man, man. I'm him. Man, for real. Like, and, and, the thing, know. and the thing about it, this comedy game is cutthroat. Like me, I'm probably the most humble, soft, I ain't gonna say soft spoken, but quiet person. Me yeah. too. You, you but never hear me flexing. Me. But don't try me. Yeah, exactly. That's but me. don't know. Hell no. Like, I do the comedy shit. They be shit. trying to talk crazy, don't they? And, and man, I'm a quiet person. They be I'm a, I'm a quiet you, person. Like, I'm no, a quiet person, man. And they I, don't even I know got, who you are to be even doing that. Yeah, I don't got do people that. now, man, in the military, man. They were like, oh, you ain't you ain't make E7 before you retired. You ain't do this. I say, cool, I did 20 years out of E6. That's fine. But the shit I got outside of the military, that uniform made you. The uniform ain't make me. I right, made right. the uniform. That's real. That's real. I made the uniform, man. And the same people who got down, went up higher than me, them the same people that... Inbox me, DM me, hey man, I appreciate that video you put down. That's that shit helped me get through deployment. That's right. I done took the pistol out of some of y'all chiefs and officers' hands before. That's real. You know what I'm saying? I done talked them off the ledge before. Don't tell me about goddamn being an E6. I'm Charlie Jr. son. I mean, hey, I'm, 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 Charlie I'm Charlie Sr. son. son. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm Charlie Sr. son at the end of the day. Don't no uniform make me. That's real. And that shit don't justify my goddamn career. I did my 20 years, and I gave y'all these, je- these, these laughs and these jokes, and I built the empire off that shit, and I'm building off of it now. I'm talking to people I know I'm sitting I'm, I'm, I'm arguing LeBron and Jordan With goddamn T.O. last night <laughs> That's real That's real I knew he came after I left yeah. I heard about that I'm arguing with T.O. Somebody I don't watch On TV You on his ass I'm, I'm, I'm on his throat About goddamn <laughs> LeBron and Jordan I came with all respect But you ain't gonna talk About LeBron and him Yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's a good thing Like like yeah. you guys How much is the, the Because of how big That Bubba Dove then, You know came in sports mm-hmm. That does Kind of affect how you guys moving because those people start ending up coming like a T.O. and yeah, coming yeah. on the set. Like, it's, that's crazy. It's, um, I ain't gonna lie to you. So, I was stationed in California and um, Eddie got down, could probably attest to this. Well, you, you're in the military, but pretty much I gotta move around. So, even though I have that, that military following, once I come to a new city as a comic, first thing you do, where the open mic's at. Mm-hmm. I don't give a fuck about your following, nigga. You need to be known in this city. Right, right. That's real. So I was lucky enough to got down, went to open mic. Of course, what they say, damn, where you from? Yeah. And then I got the accent too. You know what I'm saying? Nigga tall, you know what I'm saying? Got, got, you know what I'm saying? Got, got a little muscle yeah, on yeah, me, you yeah, know yeah. what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? They were like, yeah, hey, nigga tall, goddamn dark skin, dude, where you from? I said, man, I'm in the, you in the military? 
Yeah, I say, yeah, yeah. man, you funny. Let me put you on this show. Okay, cool. That's all. Let me right. put you on this show. Let me put you on this show. Now I'm opening up for my You know, okay, That's it might right. be ten minutes. Goddamn, all the way ends. You know what I'm saying? That's right. There. Then I happen to link up with my boy Lando, goddamn, in California. Shout out, my brother. You know what I'm saying? His mama performed with um Zach. What's now? Adam Levine, the singer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in the Super yeah. Bowl. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. She was on um one of them singing shows or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Got got cool with him. He was a comic. End up my first time getting used to being around celebrities. I'm in California. I ain't know they walk around regular in California, yeah, yeah. Florida, Jacksonville. We don't see that shit. Man, first time embarrassing myself. I'm going to this comedy spot. Uh what's the comedy big big comedy spot in goddamn on uh, California? Uh Hollywood, Florida. Um the, the, uh, the Laugh Factory, Laugh Factory. Or, or the chocolate, chocolate show, whatever. I'm waiting to go in or whatever. So I'm like, man, it's about an hour before we go in. I'm walking up the little strip or whatever. I look to my left. I say, hell no, this nigga just sitting on the balcony eating. And my mind fucked me up because I ain't, I ain't used to seeing these niggas out in person. I've been watching this nigga from Boys in the Hood, this, that, and the other. So my mind went crazy. I say, hey, um, fucking radio, what's good? Radio. <laughs> it was fucking ah, Cuba Good and Judy. I done called this nigga radio because I ain't used to seeing <laughs> What are you saying? Man, he gave me a look. I said, yeah, like, I said I'm sorry, man. I'm from Florida. I'm from Duwak. I ain't used to this shit, man. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that nigga know. yeah, yeah. I say my bad, man. He was like, Did he good. watch the set? It's good. Hell no, nah, man. Yeah, I, he I think man. he wanted to fight a little bit. He yeah, better man. not call nigga. that man radio, man. man. All the movies he you played, man. Yeah, because you could call that nigga. He was in that damn uh, arm, <laughs> army soldier. Dude. I could have called him something. Yeah, but you could call him something blame. else. Then. Man. Um, it was this spot called the truth. Who called that nigga Trey? Man, you I could call him something. He got out the car though. That nigga got out the car. So this was my last yeah. time. This was my last time meeting a celebrity. I was like, okay, I got to get used to this shit. I went to this spot called the truth. It was a hookah line. I'm home, but Lando took me there or whatever. He was like, yeah, man, be some stars in here or whatever, this, that, and the other. So I'm lit. You know what I'm saying? Because in uh, uh, LA, they do them day parties and shit. You yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. That's when I started getting used to day parties. I said, I'd never go to another night goddamn party <laughs> again. Nigga, we lit off these mimosas at 11 o'clock. So we, um, we do the day party, then we go to this spot called the truth or whatever. We go to the truth, nice little spot, beautiful. You know what I'm saying? They got the upstairs, downstairs, then they got a little back patio. With a screen and shit, and you can slide it open. It's like a movie theater in that bitch. Niggas in that bitch just chilling. Mind you, I'm drunk. I'm in joke mode. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I want all the women laughing and shit. So I walk in. Mind, I'm normally quiet, but I got these mimosas in me. Not gonna lie, man. I walk in. And I said, look at this fat ass nigga right here. I don't know, and Burba like, chill out, man, chill out. I said, no, nah, man, this old fat nigga right here, man, sitting there like he owned the place. You know what I'm saying? Old fat ass Paul Pierce looking ass nigga. <laughs> Dude, stand up. They were like, no, nah, man, that's on. Um, they um, they gave him a name. Niggas in the back, big ass nigga. They were like, no, nah, that's on. Um, that's on. Um, that's Bert or some shit. They're like, no, nah, man, that's Bert. That's where I say nigga want to be Paul Pierce so bad though. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Man, that nigga stood up. He was like six something. I said, okay, you a big ass nigga. So I walk out. I'm like, you know that was Paul Pierce for real, right? <laughs> I say, man, you lying. I want no Paul Pierce. I go back and I open the door. I say, excuse me, sir. <laughs> you Paul Pierce? He was like, yeah, I'm Paul Pierce. <laughs> I say, man, I'm so sorry, man. I'm in the Navy. Um, <laughs> I say, man, I'm so sorry. He's like, man, it's good, man. You want to take a picture, man? Come to the billboard. I say, yeah, man, I appreciate it. We take a picture in front of the billboard called The Truth, which is his nickname. My dumb ass ain't even recognized this shit. After that, I say, yeah, I got to get used to being yeah, around celebrities, man. Yeah, man. You've yeah. been around a lot of things, too. But, like, how do you basically, like, like what are you planning to do? Y'all come to Dallas a lot, so you're building a fan base here. Whether you know it or not, y'all come here a lot. Like people know you, cause that this is one of the places Bubba Dub come back, you know, a lot in mm -hmm. Houston too. So mm -hmm. I'm coming to Houston, watch up. But what what are you guys trying to do to you for the rest of the year? Like, what are you looking forward to the first quarter as well? well I got um, I just shot my uh, comedy special. Okay, uh, Mr. Willis. Where are you dropping it at? I can't see it. You can't. And they don't allow it to get to it. That's crazy, bro. Mm -hmm. I said they, Ali Sadiq had them cameras in there last night. Mm -hmm. He is the only dude that I know of that's dropping his whole special on YouTube like that. Yeah, they, they you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah. like that's hard too, because I'm gonna be honest. Because in, don't care, in, man, in my real. mind, it's a real dude, I think man. he doing the right thing because if he do that and then drop some sitcoms on top of that on it, he gonna mm -hmm. take the shit over. Yeah. He yeah. and he ahead of everybody. Yeah. That's something that's thing. Have y'all seen somebody else do that? Politics either. He ain't got to deal with the politics. Yeah, the way the their contract set up, you yeah, can't exactly. say it because they branched. They they branched. They really branched off with other networks. Okay, okay. They are part of. So if you say it's gonna be on this network, 
Then they're like, oh shit, we can't do it because now you don't made us lose money over here. Yeah, that's right, money. that's right. I get it's, it. going, it's going on ours, but then it's going over here too and going over here too. But yeah. we're making money off that. But you will kill the whole deal. But it's coming up. That. What what month? Fall. Fall. I say okay. I, probably by the end of this month, next month. I'll I'm, I'm gonna drop it on my page. You'll see it on social media. Um, All nine or seven pages. Man, listen, and I they got a hundred pages. <laughs> the, the crazy thing about that special, I did. I had to do a whole hour. Okay. I had my boy Top Flight on there. And my boy Pookie F Baby, I had my boy Dr. Foolish hosting. Mm. And when I said everybody was funny, and I'm sitting there saying, how the hell I gotta come out here and do my special behind special. all this? That's on crazy. My special. Yeah. And when I did a whole hour of nothing but funny, nonstop, nonstop funny. So I can't wait for everybody to see that. And I'm saying, I'm the first one to do it in my city, my own big comedy special at that level. And um, like I said, the comedy club is gonna get ready to open. Comedy club and restaurant, and I'm just gonna keep moving, man. Wherever God got me going, I'm like he retired. I'm about to retire. Oh, you you in the military still? No, I work for the fire department. Oh, you was a fireman. You no, saved I work, me. I work on the beach. I'm a, you were run I'm, up in I'm there a, on a, a nigga and get him out the fire. No, I ain't in the fire. <laughs> I, I, I work on the beach. I don't look like it. I work on the beach. As be an ocean swimming. lifeguard captain. Wow. So I'm the first black beach captain in the state of Florida. Wow. That's mm-hmm. so I'm over all the lifeguards. So man, thanks. I've been so doing that 21 years. That's hard, so, bro. Yeah. That's tough. God dang. So what, what about you the, your, coming hey, up? So, um, uh, like I said, I built my military following. So a lot of people know me from, um, I got a little slogan. A lot of my videos, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I did the military shit 20 years. So a lot of my videos, I ended with retirement, come get me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm done with it. So I'm um, doing the retirement, come get me tour. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I got to hit the main cities. You know what I'm saying? The main cities that I always show love, which is San Diego, Jacksonville, Florida, and um, Virginia Beach. You got to go to Tampa. You know. I, yeah, yeah, but, you gotta yeah, go yeah, Tampa. Yeah. Tampa. Yeah. So, you got to so, go to Tampa. So, we going to see what that pulls, but um, I do got a group, you know what I'm saying? Other than BDE, you know what I'm saying? I got my own one. Like yeah. I said, man, I yeah. built my brand, man. My boy KG, the comedian uh, from Alabama, um, on Best Mile Alabama. I uh, got my boy Q Nix, man, Army Cat. We all retired. Uh, Shea Clemens, he's going to be on the... Um, He's going to be on the November 3rd show. We're in Virginia Beach Funny mm-hmm, Bone. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we're selling that out. And then uh, we're at American Comedy Club in San Diego, November 10th. And then we're setting up Jacksonville, Florida right now. Wow. And then um, I got a few movies. You know what I'm saying? I got, you know what I'm saying? A few parts in doing. That's um, hard. That's hard. Playing some military roles. And just like he said, can't really talk about it right now. I don't already recorded the shit okay. or whatever. Yeah. I forgot about my movie. I got a movie coming out too. Yeah. Damn. Child Sport. Busy, man. <laughs> I call it Child Sport. Yeah. Really? Child Sport. Yeah. I play a cast yeah. in the movie. Wow. Oh. Pastor Seymour Green. Seymour Green. And getting these retirement, come get me shirts off the ground. Shout out to Latrice Narcisse, Make man. Make sure you get your handle, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, before I go on, um, comedian underscore Charlie Jr. And I'm country, and I'm a daddy's boy. Please don't forget the junior, C-H-A-L-E-E-J-R. You can find me on Facebook, C-H-A-L-E-E-J-R. And then on Instagram, you can find me at comedian underscore Charlie Jr. Spelled the same way. Hey, Y'all can just, follow me at... Uh, you got a 97 page? Instagram. <laughs> Only got one Instagram. Instagram at Book Eddie Green B O O. That's a hell of a name. E D D I E G R E and Book Eddie Green. Book me for every goddamn thing, no matter what it is. Uh, Facebook, Comedian Eddie Green, Eddie Green, Eddie Edit, uh, Book Eddie Green, Seven 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 Hood News. All that shit is me. If you just type in on Google, I'm Googleable. Type in Eddie mm-hmm. Green, it'll pop up. Or you type in Book Eddie Green, it'll pop up. Oh, Google Follow me on our hey. you know I was Google. Talk to. Listen, make sure you guys, when y'all come to Dallas or whatever, get over here early when it, before the show so I can put this shit out so we can let them know. Y'all are here. I know dang well. I don't know if this is going to come out by the night, but mm-hmm. at the end of the day, y'all got another and night I, here tonight. You, but when y'all come next time, please... Come early mm-hmm. so we can get this in. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. I, I might be in the city near you. And before I go, I will say, come in here, bro. I'm big. Like, we are advocates in the military for not drinking and driving. And I would say I love the things y'all have in place to prevent drinking and driving here <laughs> in Dallas. Because these potholes... You can't drink shit in your car. Be- no, wait a damn minute now. You been a little bit. Holes, wait a damn minute. Hell, oh, I don't still, know. Oh my bro, God, let me juice. stop you right oh, there. Bro, drink. I will yeah, come and Y'all got these potholes strategically no, in place nigga, for you not no, to drink and drive. Nigga, y'all don't know what I do. Y'all 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 the highway is not finished. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I ain't know what line. You know what? Yeah, you know what lane you was in? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You know, uh, haters come lane. from every city oh, and they bro. come to Dallas. Damn, Dallas. Much love we showing these niggas. They better hit three, four more potholes so they bring like their ass down there. Talking. I was playing Mario Kart. <laughs> 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 Thank y'all so much, man. God oh, bless y'all, man. Yeah, yeah, and all your endeavors, bro. It's Appreciate been another great segment of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Boss Talk 101.